Now then, there's just over two weeks to go until the spookiest day of the year, but uh, you don't have to rush to the shops to get your Halloween fix. Yes, crafting expert Debbie Shaw is with us now to show you how to make your very own ghoulish creations. I I'd love to see you. Hello, and you too. Thank you. So that you're clutching some lovely little hats well, here. I've, I've made you a hat each. Oh I don't gosh, know if you'd like to, love it. to wear them. Thank you. See, Halloween doesn't have to be scary, does it? No, actually, Halloween wasn't scary. Halloween originally is a celebration of your ancestors. Ah. So it's a time when they're supposed to come back and visit and celebrate with us. So we're not going spooky, we're going fun. Okay, we're going good. handmade. Good, good, good. And so how do we make these affordable then? Affordable as well. Um, the key thing is to. Um, uh, stick it on a, ha a headband, basically. Right, OK. That, that's, that's the only technical thing. Um, the rest of it is fun. Add what you like to it, make them personal. Yeah. So what I've taken is two six-inch circles of fabric, yeah. uh, of felt. It doesn't fray. It's easy to work with. And I've cut a hole in the centre of one of mm -hmm. them. All of these instructions are going to be on your website. So right. You don't need to take note now. And then I've also got a quarter circle, which measures four and a half inches. And we're going to wrap that around. And you don't have to sew. Uh -huh. You can glue these so anybody could make them and put a little bit of toy filler inside them so that it stands up right. Right, got you. This then goes through the hole in the centre of the hat and you can glue or sew that in place. Then Quite put the good base that you on. Glue it, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. I know, sort of... um, you know, I, I, I sew for a living, but it's right. so nice to be able to introduce other people to craft that may not want to sew yeah, yeah. or may not have all or the Or haven't got the time. Yeah, absolutely. So a bit of glue doesn't go amiss. And then you can start to decorate. I have actually sewn this one. But the fun thing is to add bows, to add beads, to add... And then the possibilities are endless, Oh, frankly, gosh, yes. I put spiders on sticks. I bought a bag of bugs. Uh, and just put those on sticks and added them. Stay away from those. He always seems to keep one in his pocket and then chuck it at me when I'm least <laughs> expecting it. Got one on my head at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and these are some of the ones that you've done. Yes, yeah, so you, they don't have to be black and orange. You can make them pink or purple or you can make them a little bit posh with satin ribbons or you could have fun ones that look like um, Mexican sombreros. So this, nice. this is the fun element. I did use a hot glue gun to put the bows onto the back, so be careful if you're making these with kids because that is very yeah, hot. Yeah. Um, but a wet glue or a PVA glue is absolutely fine and uh, may take a little bit longer to dry, that's all. All right. But Lovely. it's the affordable way. You can spend a fortune in the stores and then yeah. we throw them away. At yeah, the no, and if you made it, you want to keep it and yeah. you reuse it then. Absolutely. Right. So bunting. what about bunting? This again. How cool is that? <laughs> <laughs> We've got the ghost yeah. bunting here and your Halloween bunting is across the front of the counter. So nice. And it's playing with faces. You don't have to be accurate. You don't need to use a pattern. You don't have to be skillful. You don't have to be artistic. Do you want to have a go with some faces? Yes. So what I did was to... You weren't quite so keen then, Phil, I noticed. <laughs> what, to have I a... went in with a yes. <laughs> and I... I'll, give it a go. I'll give it a go. Ghost or pumpkin? Uh, I'll go. What do you want? I'll go ghost. Okay. There you go. Thank you very much. Pumpkin. And what you're going to do, I'll just give you some scissors, is to cut a wavy line from a point at the bottom. It doesn't have to be any particular shape. Up, up to the to edge. the edge. And I've already cut out some face shapes for you. This is OK. And again, you don't need to be accurate. So I've got wavy mouths and zigzag mouths and triangle noses and triangle eyes. But do have a play with them. They're so much fun because... Eyebrows that face inwards are cross eyebrows. Yes. Eyebrows that face outwards are scared eyebrows. So you can have a play with these before you actually glue them on. Is that a mouth? That's a mouth. OK. And again, they are just glued on, PVA glue, wet glue. And I have actually glued the pennants to a ribbon. Oh, I like this one. Have you got any um, glue we could borrow? We've got glue. And then, what, which ones are eyebrows? Those ones. Those eyebrows. Oh. He looks quite a friendly ghost. I wonder if that'll stay. Can you see mine? It's a bit like, did, did you have fuzzy felt when you were a child? Yeah, it's, oh, no, it's, it's, it's exactly like that. that. OK. That's quite easy. And then do you just stick it to a ribbon these, along the top? Yeah, these are just glued to a ribbon. Again, if you wanted to sew or use some bias binding, it depends what, what you want. Great idea. I think if you, are, if, if you are a crafter, you've got a stash. But if this is something that you're just beginning to do, yeah. you know, we're coming up for half term, so it's nice to get the kids in. Yeah, yeah, stuff. and if it's going to be wet weather like this, we're going to need our stash of Did you glue yeah. yours on? I haven't glued mine yet, but mine's sort of stayed. <laughs> they look great. Right. coming along. <laughs> so very nice. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> it's very sweet. 
can't tell you apart. <laughs> Very good. I'm oh, stuck to it. Stuck to my finger. <laughs> That's it. Now. It's, the, it's the, the story of my life with glue. I know. I know. Very good. Right. So we're going to go what? from the spooky to the glam. Okay. Because there's there's a thing for um, painting pumpkins at the moment. Yes. Which I think is a lot better than carving because there's no knives involved. Mm. Right. Okay. Um, and it's uh, they're all over the place. Either gold and silver spots and stripes. They and last longer hologans. as well. Yes. So because as soon as you sort of cut into them, then they start to go off, don't yeah. they, a little bit? And your pumpkins, I mean, it, you're buying them now and Halloween's not for a couple of weeks, they'll still be nice and fresh. Yeah. So don't throw them away when you're finished with them. Make your soups and, and do roasted pumpkins and pumpkin yeah. pies and things. Just so carefully you... peel them, don't eat the paint. Yes, that's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that so you can do anything here. Yep, yeah, I've used um, acrylic paint on these, so you can spray paint if you wish, you can hand paint. Um, I've actually... Um, use marker pens on the Day of the Dead uh, pumpkin over there, and they've even decorated a little oh, pumpkin wow. for it Oh, wow! Oh, my gosh, in. I didn't think I even realised that was a pumpkin. <laughs> but that, that's just like a paint-as-you-go, you, go, you mm. know, just just draw it out and, and colour it in. Do you want that's to get very cool. Yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. I'm, uh, <laughs> this You're is enjoying where I'm this, really, I'm not brilliant. <laughs> I'm not neat. I'm not a neat painter. But, uh, give it a go. Would you like a yellow or a, a white or a gold? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll go with the I'll go with the gold. Okay, it's very go. good, isn't it? The white. Okay. We've got paints. And what what am I We've doing got with that? Sponges and brushes, whatever you like. It could be a face. You could do spots. I'm so or not very stripes. artistic. There are some that I've seen that have just got um, paint poured over the top of them, so it drips down. And oh, that's that quite a nice really idea. Um, or again, you can use um, maybe a felt tip pen and draw on a spider's web all the way around and then stick bugs on again. Do you know, I think I should probably do more painting because I'm so impatient that I want to get it done and I think it would be quite a good thing for me to do to make me just, like, slow down. Yes. Because I think that's what it is. I'm like, right, got to get it done, got to get it done. Well, you'll find that you can only kind of paint half at a time anyhow because it'll be wet on the bottom. So it ah. is quite a slow process and paint it and let it dry. And how do you, how, do you have to do lots of layers? No, the, um, the white in the background was only one layer. This paint is quite thick. This is just acrylic paint. Um, so again, one layer. If you wanted an eco-friendly paint, we've actually got some French Chic, which is, um, it's eco-friendly. French and Chic? It's, it's, um, it doesn't smell either, so it's, uh, that's a good one to use I don't really well. know what I'm doing here. I'm sort of doing stripes. It's now sort of <laughs> like some sort of flag. I think you find the more you throw at it... <laughs> so ah, it looks exactly the same as your other one. <laughs> <laughs> Phil's got one face in his locker. That's my, uh, that's my theme. <laughs> oh, look, they're friends. Oh, no, I'm starting to... I'm sure that, yeah, I'm doing some I've sort of flag here. One that's final brilliant. thing I want to show you really quickly. I okay. haven't time to, to demonstrate. But you can make these out of fabric. And these oh, wow. are nice because they're not just for Halloween. Mm. Um, so it's a tube of fabric simply gathered at the top and the bottom and then take a long doll needle with thread and, and sew through the centre and then pull it and it goes pumpkin-like. And you can still decorate them as well, so you can make posh pumpkins. But these could be pink cushions, put a weight in the bottom. They're so they nice. Stop. Love those. They make a nice collection, Beautiful. don't they? Gorgeous. Thank <laughs> so you. So gorgeous. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.